Uh, hello everybody. I made a video in a while. Just got done watching the uh, 6th Republican debate. Um, and uh, the... Uh, it's political season. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot of flaming scumbaggery on uh, both sides right now. Uh... <coughs> So, let's talk about some flaming scumbaggery here. Let's see, we got uh, Kasich and Jeb Bush. Uh, they were connected to Lehman Brothers and uh, sold uh, school teachers bad investments before 2008. Don't worry, they're not connected to big money. And Ted Cruz isn't either. Ted Cruz has your best interest at heart, too. He's just, you know, uh, boning the former like vice president of Goldman Sachs. Because it's his wife, I guess. But but don't worry, he's not connected to Goldman Sachs in any way. He's he's fine. He's he's not in anybody's pocket. Now we got the uh, more empire foreign policy, which has been a complete failure in the last I don't know since I've been alive. <laughs> and uh, see, uh, Rand Paul wasn't in the debate. I think America lost out on that. I think he really brings uh, a lot of uh, deductive reasoning um, to the stage, and I think he's a very well-spoken gentleman like his dad. And I think he interje interjects really good ideas and points, even if you don't uh, agree with all of what he's saying. And uh, I think the debate really lost a little bit of a... Uh, no, lost something, a pizzazz. I don't know how to explain it. Just... Wasn't the same without Paul Rand Paul up there. Um, let's see. Uh, we got probably Rubio and Cruz are going to get lawsuits against them for not being natural born citizens of the United States from the Democratic Party, which is kind of ironic with the whole thing that happened a few years ago with Obama. But whatever. Uh, the GOP also, I noticed, keeps pushing um, this whole "we're going to repeal Obamacare." if you elect me as president. Um, this type of stuff was going on in uh, 1980 with uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, it had to do with the Department of Education. And uh, let's just say he uh, didn't get rid of it. He said he was, didn't. You know, he got into power and got the uh, former head of the CIA, George Bush, uh, Democrat in camouflage as the vice president and uh, you had fucking Hinckley Jr., who's friends with the Bushes, uh, read the uh, Catcher in the Rye a little too often, and uh, boomity bang bang, and that was the end of that. So, <laughs> anyway, let's see, what else we got here? So, I'll be very surprised if a Republican gets in office and we don't have some version of the Affordable Care Act still um, <clears throat> in, in, in the government, in society. I mean, I think it's just, it's just a ploy to play to the base. It sounds good. I hope they do, but I don't. I wouldn't bet on it. I'm guessing this is a, a, a flaming scumbaggery lie. Um, I don't think they're going to do that. I think it's going to grow. I think the insurance companies are going to get the politicians and uh, the Republican Party in line with a little uh, greasing of the palms, if you will. Uh... Nikki Haley, also not a natural-born citizen who came out against Trump. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. wonder what her motivation may have been to come out against Trump uh, this past week. Uh, Donald Trump, there is something I like that he did in response to the, uh, the anger thing. And that is he owned it. He said, yes, I am angry. Um, kind of invoking uh, a righteous, a righteous anger type deal. Um, he's angry to get something done to make America great again. Hey man, I'm not saying like he's my guy, but out of the choices that were on stage tonight, if I had one of those hats, make America great again, I'd probably put it on right now because I the the. He's probably the best Republican candidate for president as of right now. And uh, Hillary Clinton.
Clinton falling in the polls hard to Bernie Sanders in New Hampshire. I think she's only ahead by like three points now or something like that today. So Bernie's probably going to overtake her in New Hampshire, maybe even in Iowa, or they might split the two. And uh, we might actually have a Democratic, a real Democratic primary. And uh, a lot of the uh, young folks are feeling the burn. Um, you know, he claims he does, he's against big banks, and the Democrats claim they're against big money. But where were they when, when uh, Rand Paul's bill came in to audit the Federal Reserve Bank? Oh, they were, they, no, we can't do that. No, flaming scumbaggery, folks. Flaming scumbaggery. All right? I say it again. I think I've only said it like seven times. These people are flaming scumbags. They're liars. Lying to you. All right? They're actors on a stage to play. All right? And, and Donald Trump knows this. But here's the thing, this is why a lot of uh, the media and all this stuff attacks Donald Trump, is uh, he's in his own pocket, folks. He's in his own pocket, and I'm pretty sure he's an egomaniac as well. Um, however, he's not, in, he's not beholden to anyone, he's beholden to himself. Uh, what, what does he want uh, his presidency to be? Uh, if he's not controllable by big money interest, uh, this is very dangerous for the establishment. Um, so I guess I guess that he's my guy right now, Donald Trump. Um, if Rand Paul doesn't come back with a miracle comeback here and get back in it, uh, he did, he did pull ahead on some polls ahead of Jeb Bush, but they still kicked him out of the debate. He was ahead of Kasich too. I don't know why even fucking Kasich's up there. Um, I guess he's still got some. Uh, him and Jeb still have some buddy buddy with former people from Lehman Brothers and the media. I guess I don't know. Because they shouldn't be up there. If Rand Paul isn't up there, Kasich and Bush shouldn't be up there. Another person I thought did pretty good in the debate tonight was uh, Chris Christie. I don't like him, but but I think he uh, I think he came across as as Chris Christie. I think he did a good job coming across as Chris Christie. And Chris Christie is friends with uh, my governor, Governor LePage, who's had some problems recently with some type of implication of racism. I'm not say that. Uh, kind of Democrats decided uh, in the state house to try to impeach LePage. <coughs> uh, well, that didn't go uh, anywhere today, so I guess uh, Rachel Maddow, Maddow and her ironic uh, glasses and her uh, shoulder pad suit is probably shaking with anger uh, to, tonight or tomorrow on our broadcast. And I'm certain uh, after uh, Trevor Noah is done drinking bourbon with Rand Paul, uh, he will be very angry as well. Um, but, but here's the thing, folks. All right, I don't think LePage is racist. I think LePage is classic Mena xenophobic. Let me explain this to you. If you were born in Maine, you're a Mena. If you're not born in Maine, you're not a Mena. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, Asian. Uh, and it, 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 it's if you're born in Maine, you're black. You're a Mena. What he was saying was these black guys from New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey named like I don't know, he came up with some. I think this is where he got in trouble because he started using gangsta names to. Uh, to explain them, I think he said like D money or some shit and uh, sway, whatever. I don't fucking know, but anyway, he he says things that he shouldn't say, or at least he should learn how to say them better. Uh, so that's my little explanation about uh, our main governor LePage, who's a bit of a hothead like his uh, friend Chris Christie, and I'm not really surprised they get along well. Uh, but LePage did stick up for the uh, Ron Paul delegates that got kicked out of the Republican National Convention in 2008 in a uh, in some in a scumbag move from uh, Boner and the uh, you know the Mitt Romney folks in uh, so 2000 no 2012 I'm sorry 2012 not 2008 2012 
So we're at uh, 10 minutes now, and I'm about at my limit, so I'm going to call out the end here. Uh, Trump clearly won the debate if Rand Paul didn't. Rand Paul was on fire on Twitter. On fire. And he actually might, uh, you know, he was the number one trending guy in the debate was Rand Paul on Twitter. So we'll see. You know, my guy is Donald Trump if Rand Paul isn't, it doesn't make a comeback. i got to vote for the Donald. Got to vote for the Donald, make America great again. The only big money he's beholden to is himself. Very dangerous for establishment people. And I think very good for everybody else. Have a good night. It's been Smoke Break.